In 2023, we saw a change of guard as American sprint sensation Shakari Richardson joined the league of Jamaican champ Sherika Jackson and Ivorian Marie Jossie Talou to dominate the women's 100 meters. And even though Richardson seemed unlikely to dominate the 100 meters owing to her tainted past, she just did the unimaginable to go completely undefeated in all the indoor and outdoor races she competed in, except just one. And that's how the recently concluded Gyule Istvan memorial meet in Zekesfehervar, Hungary, where Richardson was shamed by a collegiate Julian Alfred. Looking at her incredible performance this season, nobody expected that a collegiate would hand Richardson her first loss of the season. But it happened. Be sure to watch the video until the end to find out a clear analysis of this race and the fate of Richardson going forward. And if you're new here, make sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update whenever we post. So let's get started with the video. Shakari Richardson has been in fine form this season, putting her critics to shame. She made a 100m season debut at the 2023 Miramar Invitational in Florida, clocking a solid time of 10.57 seconds, win assisted, translating to 10.77 seconds under legal win. Now, this strong opening time made her a force to reckon with and foreshadowed her impressive season ahead. And sure enough, she went on to lower her time over the 100 meters even more by winning the Doha Diamond League in Qatar with a world lead and a new meeting record of 10.76 seconds. This was her very first Diamond League victory. At this point, Richardson seemed to be at the peak of her career this season, with many looking forward to seeing her make Team USA and represent the United States at the World in Budapest, Hungary over the 100 meters. And when the time came for the national trials, Richardson just did what we all didn't expect. She went on to smash her competition, dominating the heats and emerging victorious in the opening heats with a scorching new world lead of 10.71 seconds. This was impressive, so to speak, making her the US national champion. However, this new world lead did not last long, even as Jamaican Sharika Jackson produced the current world lead of 10.65 seconds after winning Jamaica's championships. Richardson and Jackson immediately became the two strongest contenders over the 100 meters, and so fans were interested to see who was stronger between Jackson and Richardson. But it was until these two met on the same track at the Silesia Diamond League meeting in Poland that the whole truth came to light. Richardson toppled Jackson in a thrilling finale to win the 100 meters in 10.76 seconds. Thus far, Richardson was still undefeated over the 100 meters. But the real show of Mighty was just about to happen at the Gyulai Istvan Memorial meet in Zekesfehervar. Hungary, part of the World Athletics Continental Tour Gold Meet, Shakari Richardson, the US national champion, was set to battle on the track with the NCAA champion Julian Alfred over the women's 100 meters. Even before the race, it all seemed like Richardson will continue her winning streak and solidify her position even more over the recent. But in a surprising turn of events, Richardson just failed to react quickly off the blocks, suffering a serious defeat in the hands of a 22-year-old collegiate. Alfred went on to throw a strong win, crossing the finish line with a time of 10.89 seconds to force Richardson to contend with second place in 10.97 seconds. This was quite an embarrassment to Richardson, but then again, we can't blame Richardson so much since she's been racing a lot recently and most probably fatigue must have caught up with her in this race. However, this single loss does not change the fact that Richardson is brilliant over 100 meters. She has proved her guts this season, becoming the second fastest sprinter over the event this year, and we still hold a lot of hope in her. Going forward, Richardson stands at high chance of clocking sub 10.7 seconds over the 100 meters. Whether that's going to be at the Worlds in Budapest, Hungary, or before that, we don't know, but she definitely is a strong contender who's currently on the watch list for winning a medal at the Worlds. So there you have it, guys. Do you think Julian Alfred will triumph over Richardson at the Worlds? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and as usual, if you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel for more amazing content like this. Thanks for watching and as usual, I'll see you guys in the next video.